Hi guys, it's Otto here and today we're going to talk about resetting a Somfy RTS remote control. Now the first thing you need to realize is that you can't reset the remote control itself. You can reset the Tele6 RTS, but that's not going to achieve what you probably want, which is um, either removing uh, the Teles from the motor's memory um, or resetting the end limits. In any case, solving problems. Um, so that's very important to realize. So what, what happens with when you um, um, set the end limits for a motor is that you pair the remote and you put it in the memory of the motor and you set the end limits. So it's actually the, the motor you need to reset. And there comes another difficulty because there are different solutions. Um, I have three in front of me here, which are the most common ones. And the first we're going to look at is the motor, which is uh, which is mains powered and has an integrated um, receiver module, which is, for example, this Orea RTS. Now, the way to reset that is via the 383 procedure, um, and that takes away the link with uh, the remote control and resets the end limits. So basically brings it back to factory settings. So that's the first option. I'm going to put all the links to the videos uh, in the description below the video. So if you want to know exactly how it's done, this reset procedure, you can just uh, click on the link and you'll be taken to that video. Now that's the first option. The second option is when you have a 12 volt solution, which is powered either by a battery um, or for example a transformer, and that's usually common for um, uh, blind solutions, for example Roman lines, uh, shades, etc. And the reset procedure there is different. Again, um, the remote control is always stored in the memory of the motor, um, but there's no 383 sequence that's going to reset the motor. You actually need to uh, press the program button and hold that for about 10 seconds in which um, the motor will jog three times. Um, again, I'm going to put the link in the description, but that's, as you can see, a completely different procedure from this one. Now, there's a third option as well, which is when you use a standard motor and you have an external um, receiver unit. This is the Centralis RTS. Um, and it's a, it's a commonly used system and again it stores the remote control in its memory and the way to reset it is actually by pressing the PROC button it's the, the, there will be an LED that starts flashing and then you press the PROC button on the back of the remote it starts flashing quicker and um, the TELUS is removed from the memory of um, the Centralis unit. Now what it doesn't do in the case of this well, reset, I wouldn't call it, but at least removal of the link between the remote and the receiver. Um, what it doesn't do is reset the limits. Um, you always need to set the limits on the motor itself. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. So to summarize, um, first you need to, to realize that you can't reset the remote control itself. The remote control is always stored in the memory of um, the motor or the uh, control unit and that there are different procedures to reset the motor. Again, links are in the description, so follow these to get taken to, uh, to the, the relevant videos. Um, so I hope uh, it, it has brought some clarity um, and, and some information on how to solve any issue you might have with your Sonfi controls. If you still have any questions, let me know. The email is in the description. And if you liked the video, it would be nice if you subscribe. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.